Hey guys, how you going today? Uh, before I start the video, I'd like to point out that the tweak I'm about to show you would have to be my favourite tweak that I've seen in a long time in the City Store. Uh, this would have to be, yeah, my favourite at the moment. Um, I couldn't think of anything that actually beats this tweak. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And uh, let's get started. So as you, as you can see, this is just normal. Um, everything's the same. But... Today I'll be talking about Dashboard X, as you can see there, the little blue one with the D. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open it. And actually before we do that, I'll show you what it actually is. Uh, so I'll s you can set up your activation any way you want. Um, so these are basically um, widgets, the same as you what you'd have on a Samsung or HTC. Uh, but this is for your iPhone. So as you can see, you've got the weather. I got Insta call, so if I want to make a phone call, I can just type in the number and call instantly. Uh, I've got um, sort of like notes here, so I can write in whatever I like. I got a Google search, so I just type in whatever I like, and it searches Google for me. Uh, so we'll go, we'll go back home, and as you can see, I got uh, LS Bright Slide here. Um, so basically they're anything for your notification center and just makes them for your dashboard. Uh, you can also have them on your home screen which I'll show you now. Basically you put your apps into wiggle mode and this is to add also a, um, a widget to your normal dashboard screen. But to add them to your uh, home page, you just hold anywhere when your icons are in wiggle mode and it comes up with this. These are all your downloaded widgets. You do have to download them individually. They don't come... I think maybe stocks and clock come automatically, but all these other ones... Uh, and maybe weather comes stock, but all the other ones you'll have to install yourself. So we'll go for the clock widget here. Uh, you go add widget, and you can see it pops up here. So if I press and hold... There we go, and we go to the next page, we can put it there, we can put it on top of apps. So if I put it right there, it sits right there. Although it's in the way, you move your apps around and it works well. So you can add any um, widget you like. Um, just download it from the City Store, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And basically just to delete them, you press the X button. If it can get it to work. Come on. There we go. And it comes up just like a normal app. You click delete. Um, so again, that works well. Nice and smooth. Uh, I prefer to have them just on my little dashboard thing here. Um, and again, you just press and hold on the screen. And it comes up with all the widgets to add. Uh, so it's exactly the same. Works well. And yeah. So again, guys, this is my favorite. And I'll show you how to download different um, different widgets. So if you come down here, you've actually got all your settings here. So long tab to edit mode, enable widgets. So as you can see, I've got no widgets on my home page. So usually it would come up with settings um, to just change it around. And it'll be the same as this one. But this one, that's for my actual dashboard. Oops. Alright, we'll just go. As you can see there, that's for my dashboard. But the same thing will happen. So you can go into it. Uh, we go edit. And then you can delete it if you like. But if you don't want to, just leave it as it is. Um, so activation method. You can also choose which one. I've got two set up at the moment, but just change it to whatever, whichever one you like. Um, each to their own, whatever you like to choose. Um, and then if we go double tap to dismiss, we turn it off, as you can see. You can't double tap anymore, whereas before, you have to press the home button. Whereas before... 
to this mess, I was just double tapping. So it does work well, nice and smooth. Uh, so if we go down, uh, you can go more widgets and you click launch Cydia. So it opens up Cydia to all the add-ons. And just wait for it to load. And as you can see here, it's got all these different types of um, add-ons. So I'll show you. I've got Instacall, um, which is the one where I can just call people from the dashboard. Basically just install my, I've already got it downloaded, so it'll come up install for you guys. Um, and that's about it, guys. But yeah, basically it's just um, adding widgets to your home screen and dashboard. Uh, I'll show you this one last thing. You can actually access the dashboard from your lock screen. So you can still all do, do all this. You can still make a call. And it all works well. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you guys do enjoy this um, tweak as much as I do. I use it a lot. And um, we'll see you soon, guys. So enjoy.